Okay, CuClO4. So, uh, what's the charge on the ClO4? Yeah, it's uh, 1 minus or minus 1. So that means copper has got to be plus 1. Uh, copper can have two first names, either in this case, cuprus or copper 1. What's the name of the ClO4? Perchlorate. Perchlorate. So we've got either, uh, this O, copper 1 uh, perchlorate. Or cupric, oh no, cuprus perchlorate. Okay? Is that good with ionics? Or any lingering questions? Okay, let's try some acids. No, there'll be acids because I'll put the H in front. Oh, you have a question? Yeah. So the, the I's will only show up when it's monoatomic? That's the, right. All the polyatomics already have the, um, the uh, A's and all the other suffixes at the end? Yes, yeah. So polyatomics have pre-built-in suffixes, eight or eight. Uh, monoatomics, you need to put in a suffix, and they all take I. So chloride, sulfide, phosphide, etc. Okay, so this here, it's an acid, when it's polyatomic, uh, then you take its name, so this is perchlorate, like we just learned, perchlor, you take the base name, and then if it's eight, you change it to ic, so this is perchloric acid. If it was OUS, you, uh, or if it was it, you change it to OUS. So let's try another one. H3PO4. We've got phosphate. It's polyatomic. So we'll change that to phosphoric, just like the other one. Phosphoric acid. In the case of this phosphate to phosphoric, it adds in another syllable whenever you get to the ic. So you don't go phosphic acid, phosphoric acid. Uh, let's try this one. H3P. So here we've got a monoatomic anion, okay, or a binary acid. So now we ha must have the hydro prefix. So we know that's there. It's hydro something. Acid is always the last name if it's acid. And we know all, without exception, all monoatomic uh, anions in an acid end in ic. Okay? So it's hydro something ic acid. As long as it's a, a binary acid. So in this case, we'll put the base name phosphoric or phosphor. So this is hydrophosphoric acid, this is phosphoric acid. The hydro indicates it's a binary. Yeah? This applies even if um, phosphorus uh, has a minus 2 charge, if that were even possible? If phosphorus had a minus 2 charge, uh, then you'd be good talking about something like this, that would be sulfur, has a minus 2 charge. So you, you can't change the charges for the binary acids, so there's no possible change of this suffix. Well, let's do this since we came up with it here. H2S would be hydro. <coughs> we start with hydro. Ends in ic because it's a binary, and then acid. So this is sulfuric. So hydro, sul, fur. Oops, the ic's too far away. Ic. Acid. So it comes from the base name sulfur. Mm -hmm. How's that? What do you need more? Oh, there's a question? Yeah, so the ternary, like the term just means that there's like a polyatomic in the. Absolutely. Okay, so that's the difference between binary and ternary. 
Yeah, ternary anything, not just acids, but also ionics, uh -huh. means that there's a uh, polyatomic. Along with like the anions or whatever, or whatever else there okay. is, yeah. Because uh, you can have polyatomic cations. Okay. And you had a question? Yeah. Uh, can you briefly explain again why it, like the middle two again? Uh, the middle two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so first the top and bottom, these are not uh, polyatomics. So it's got to be hydro. These are, so there's no hydro beginning. So all you do is go from the base name, this is chlorate, 8 goes to ic. So or this is per chlorate, so it goes to per chlor ic. This is phosphate, so it goes to phosphor ic. If you had something like, uh, I'll just erase this one, uh, HNO2, now it's a nitrite, it's not a polyatomic, there's no hydro, so you go nitrous acid, because the ite goes to an us, where in the other cases an eight goes to an ic, you got to keep track of all those things. Okay. It goes to eight goes to ik and i goes to us. Yes, eight goes to ik, i goes to us. Okay. Is that enough naming? Okay.